Most of us tend to be familiar with light years. They're easy. It's the distance light travels in a year. If I were to say something simple, like Betelgeuse is a star that is located about 680 light years away, it would be simple. It's easy. Right? Of course it is. Light years are great. But then there's this other term, parsec. What the hell is it, and why do we use it? A parsec is about 3.26 light years, and that's kind of off-putting. It doesn't have a 5 or a 0, so what the hell is up with this number? It's just a mess. Well, here's what it means first. It's actually an abbreviation for parallax and arc second. And we actually experiment with parallax in a previous video that you can see right here. But back to parsecs. The Earth orbits around the Sun at around 93 million miles away, or 1 AU an astronomical unit. Keep that in mind when we figure this out. A parsec is used when we try to find distances to nearby stars, but we use the sun as a kind of starting point. Keep that in mind too. Now, what the hell is an arc second? When measuring distances in space, it can be difficult, sure. I mean, everything is so far away, but angles help us quite a lot. Imagine it like they did in ancient times. A celestial sphere surrounds the Earth. If we circumnavigate this sphere, we get a circle, and we can cut up a circle into 360 divisions, or 360 degrees. Next, we can take one degree of this giant circle and cut it up into 60 divisions, an arc minute. We can divide that even further. We can take one of these arc minutes and then cut one of those into 60 pieces, and we get arc seconds. And that's where the term comes from. It is one thirty-six hundredths of a degree. Let's do a thought experiment. Picture the Earth orbiting the Sun. Its distance from the Sun is 1 AU, or about 93 million miles. Let's then put a star X distance away, and we can use parallax to figure out how far away it is. And the cool part is that we can use the Sun as a right angle in this triangle. We notice that the observed parallax of the star is one arc second. That means we know one side of the triangle and all three angles. We can then find the rest of the triangle. We can then use the law of sines to figure out the distance to the star. We get about 1.92 times 10 to the 13 million miles. And that's exactly what a parsec is. 3.26 light years. When the parallax of something is one arc second, we then know that its distance is 3.26 light years away. We have weird distance terms for all sorts of things in astronomy, but a parsec is something we should be familiar with. And there you go. Now you know why we use parsecs. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to share if you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, it's just as you assume, and it's nothing but these humans would like to blame mythology for everything they're doing. They pray for non existent gods to clean up the mess, but never take responsibility, just claim it's a test. See that religion you've been given is shit, and it's all poison. And it's partially the reason we bleed, and it's all poison. Your worldview is poison, and your outlook is poison. Denied all you want, but the truth is it's all poison.